In this tutorial, we will show you how to test and replace the cooling fan for a FlexMax 80 charge controller. If you have noticed from your charge controller lately, less solar production, overheating, or suspiciously a lot quieter, it may be possible it's the cooling fan that has stopped working. Let's take a look on how to determine if the cooling fan has stopped working. The best and the easiest way to determine this is to manually power cycle the unit. Upon power up, the fan should cycle on and off. First, turn off your PV array disconnect breaker. This should bring your input voltage close to or below the battery voltage. If it doesn't, check your breaker and make sure you are turning off the right one. Next, turn off the charge controller disconnect breaker, commonly known as ground fault detector interrupter, or GFDI, usually comes with a green handle. By turning this breaker off, the LCD screen should go blank. Then, turn back on the GFDI breaker. The fan should immediately cycle on and off. If it doesn't, then it's a good indication the fan is not working. Okay, now replace the fan. Make sure the controller is powered down. First, remove the Phillips screw that secures the fan cover. Then, press both sides of the cover to release the tabs and pull up on the cover. Remove the fan cable by squeezing the tabs from the jack connector. Next, remove the four Phillips screws that secure the fan to the bracket. Grab the new fan and align it to the mounting holes. Make sure you are following the direction of the airflow. The arrow should be pointing to the right. Replace the four Phillips screws. Reconnect the fan connector. Make sure the plastic flap is facing down and to the left. This is important so airflow is not restricted. Lastly, replace the fan cover. Now you're all set.